if you haven't already, why don't you download the Families at Home sheet? Hello, welcome back to Families at Home. I hope you all had a good Easter celebration with your families last Sunday. In our lives, sometimes we talk about things that have already happened in the past, don't we? Sometimes we talk about things that are happening now, in the future, like right now, I'm filming our families at home shop and last week in the past was Easter Sunday. And sometimes we talk about things that will happen in the future, things that haven't happened yet. And we use a calendar, don't we, sometimes to remind us of things that have happened in the future. Right now, I'm filming this on Wednesday the 15th of April. That's in the past for you, but that's uh, happening right now for me. And you're probably watching this on Sunday the 19th. That's in the future for me, but that's in the present for you. And in the past for all of us is last Sunday, Sunday the 12th, Easter Sunday. So things that have already happened are in the past, things that are happening now we call the present and things that haven't happened yet that we're waiting for are in the future. And in the Bible today, we're going to look at a time that Jesus told his disciples about something that would happen in the future. But it's actually in the past for us. For them, it was in the future. It hadn't happened yet. But we look back on it because it's recorded in the Bible for us. I'm going to ask Miriam to help me with a challenge. I've got a challenge for Miriam. Miriam, do you think you can help me with a challenge? I've got different pictures of the things that happened in the week leading up to Easter. And I'm going to ask Miriam to put them in the right order for me. Do you think she'll be able to do it? Can you do it, Miriam? I think she can. Right. If you need help knowing what the picture is, you can just ask. Right. Can you put them in order for me? If you lay them out, what happened first and what happened last and everything in between. So that is some uh, religious leaders paying Judas some money. Whereabouts do you think that came in the story? First. Do you think? Have a look at the others as well. Should we work out what they all are first? Yeah. Right, what's this one? <laughs> That's Jesus coming into Jerusalem on a donkey. Yeah? Where do you think that goes? Oh. Do you think they've paid Judas yet? Do you think that comes later? What else have we got? We've got Jesus having... A meal with his disciples the last supper yeah and that came after Judas had been paid and then so that's Jesus being arrested we've got Jesus carrying the cross and Jesus dying on the cross what order do they go in they go in that order let's bring everyone over to see do you think Miriam's got it right we've got Jesus entering Jerusalem on a donkey Palm Sunday got Judas being paid money to uh, give Jesus over. We've got Jesus having a meal with his disciples. We've got Jesus being arrested, Jesus carrying his cross and Jesus dying on the cross. Well done, Miriam. I think you got it right. Brilliant. Now this term, we're going to be looking at the book of Acts in the Bible, which is all about how Jesus continued his work after he had gone back to heaven. We're looking at Acts chapter 1, verse 1 to 11. And if you haven't already read that with your family, just pause the video and do so now. Now, if you remember what Jesus won for it, us at Easter, on the cross, he won forgiveness for all his people. And when he rose from the dead, he won victory over death and eternal life for us. That's incredible, isn't it? And since Jesus had risen from the dead, he appeared to lots of people and he proved that he was alive. And one of the things he did was he met with his disciples and he ate with them. What better physical proof that you're alive, that you're a real physical person, than eating with someone. You've got to take food in, it goes into your body and into your tummy. And one time, while Jesus was eating with his disciples after he had risen back to life, he gave them a promise. And he told them 
that they would have to wait for it. Now we're all waiting at the moment, aren't we? We've been told by the government that we need to stay at home to help stop coronavirus spreading. We don't know how long it's going to be uh, or how long for, but we're all waiting at home with our families until we're allowed out again, until school or nursery can open again. We're waiting until we can meet together at church again. The disciples, they were waiting. Jesus said, don't leave Jerusalem, but wait, wait for the gift that my father's promised. He said, John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit. Jesus knew he was going to go away and the Holy Spirit was going to come and he would help them to keep doing what Jesus had been doing. But who's the Holy Spirit? I can't just show you a picture or draw a diagram because God's just too amazing to be shown in a picture. The Holy Spirit's too amazing to be able to uh, draw a picture of it. But I can tell you that there are three people in our one true God. We've got God the Father, God the Son, that's Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit works in lots of different ways and one of the ways he works is as a helper. He helps us to live God's way and he helps us to tell others about Jesus. Now Jesus said to the disciples, the Holy Spirit will come to you. Don't leave the city of Jerusalem until the Spirit comes. The Holy Spirit will give you power to live God's way. The Holy Spirit will help you to tell people about me. You will tell the people of Jerusalem about me and the people of Judea and Samaria about me and then people everywhere in the whole world. Tell them how they can be part of God's family if they trust me. So they would start telling people where they were in Jerusalem and they would tell people in Judea and Samaria spread out to the whole world. The Holy Spirit was going to help them do that. But they had to wait for him to come. Listen to what the Bible says next is in Acts chapter 1 verse 9. After he said this, that's Jesus, he was taken up before their very eyes and a cloud hid him from their sight. Jesus was taken up to heaven. That must have been incredible to watch. As the disciples watched, two angels appeared. They told the disciples that Jesus had returned to heaven and that he would come back again one day in the future. But now they had to wait. They had to wait in Jerusalem. Remember what they were waiting for? That's right, they were waiting for the Holy Spirit to come. They didn't know how long they were going to have to wait for didn't know if it was going to be one hour or one day or one week but they were waiting and they didn't know how long it would be before God would send his spirit but they trusted Jesus they obeyed him and they waited in Jerusalem we're going to have a little quiz now uh, if you think the answer is true I want you to put your hand on your head if you think the answer is false I want you to put your hand on your bottom so true, put your hands on your head. False, put your hands on your bottom. First question. Jesus had died on the cross so that people could be forgiven for living their own way. Is that true or false? That's true, isn't it? Jesus did die on the cross so that people be, could be forgiven. Next question. Jesus rose from the dead and met with his disciples. Is that true or false? That's true, isn't it? Jesus did rise from the dead. He did meet with his disciples. Next question. Jesus promised that God would send a helper. True or false? I think that's true. It is. Next question. This helper was known as the super angel. True or false? Shout it at the screen if you think you think it's true or false. And if you think it's false, what's the answer? 
the answer is the Holy Spirit. It's false. It's not called the super angel. The helper was going to, the helper's called the Holy Spirit. Next question. Jesus was driven away to heaven in a chariot pulled by horses. Is that true or false? Was Jesus driven away in a chariot driven uh, by horses, chariots pulled by horses? That is false, isn't it? Jesus was taken up and hidden by a cloud. Last question. The angels said that Jesus had gone to heaven and would return one day. Is that true or false? That's true, isn't it? The angels said that Jesus had gone to heaven and he would return one day. Well done, everybody. We're going to learn our memory verse in Makaton today. Um, and it's Jesus speaking um, in John's Gospel. Um, so when we say I, we're going to do the sign for Jesus. Follow along with me at home. I will send you the helper from the Father. He is the spirit of truth. John chapter 15 verse 26. Let's do that again. I will send you the helper from the Father. He is the spirit of truth. John chapter 15 verse 26. We're going to do our craft now. You'll need a toilet roll tube or a paper cup, either some blue paper or blue pens or paint, some cotton wool, sellotape, string, glue, scissors and a little paper Jesus that you can fit inside your tube like that. First of all, we're going to make, uh, we're going to do the tube bit. If you've got a toilet roll tube, cut some slits in the top just four so that you can fold the top in i've already cut mine like that if you've got a paper cup just uh, make a little hole in the top big enough to fit a piece of string through um, but i've got my tube and i can uh, the tube and i can fit my string through there um, let's just double check get the string through there we go, we've got some string through, it can pass quite freely, that's fine. You can tape it up if you want to, you don't have to. And uh, now we're going to make the tube or the cup look like the sky. So what I'm going to do is glue my paper all around there. Take my glue. Put plenty on so it sticks well. tube around it. There we go, make sure that's folded well down. And now I've got the blue sky, I'm going to glue some cotton wool on for clouds. You can put as many or as few clouds on as you want. If you haven't got cotton wool at home you could cut some clouds out of paper to stick those on if you wanted to. I'm going to put lots of clouds on, I think. Oh, we've got space for one more there. There we go, lots of clouds on the sky. And now, I'm going to take my little paper Jesus that I've drawn and sellotape the piece of string to his back. I only need a little bit for this. And now you will be able to raise Jesus up into the clouds, just like in our Bible story. 
he can come back down again, which doesn't happen in the Bible story. And then you can raise him up right into the clouds up to heaven. There you go. Why don't you play a waiting game now with your family and then take some time to discuss the questions on the sheet.